Well, doctors around Hillsborough County are urging school leaders to think twice about making students head to school even earlier than they do right now. Brenda Liz Gonzalez tonight live near Jefferson High School with the health warning about those bell changes. Brenda Lise. The concerns are enough to get this doctor and dozens of others to sign this letter urging leaders to reconsider these changes. I see tired teenagers in my office every single day. Dr. Marcy Solomon Baker knows firsthand what lack of sleep does to teens. They come in to make sure they're not anemic, to make sure their thyroid's okay. And really, when you take a good history, what it is is they're not sleeping enough. Now high schoolers around Hillsborough County may have to roll back the alarm even further as leaders consider changing the start time in 2018 from 733 to 715. That would be tough. Rory O'Rourke already struggles getting out of bed. Packed with AP classes and everything and I'm up late a lot. Just this month, the American Academy of Sleep Medicine announced teens shouldn't start school earlier than 8.30 a.m., recommending they sleep 8 to 10 hours a night to lower their chances of obesity, depression, and even car wrecks. It's hard for teenagers to fall asleep early. District leaders say the changes will save them millions by cutting down on bus drivers. They say most of their students who ride the bus already get in before 7. That doesn't take away Dr. Solomon Baker's concern, though, and what she expects from the changes. More stressed out teenagers. She hopes this letter on behalf of the Hillsborough County Pediatrician Society will convince leaders to reevaluate. But I'm not sure the money they're going to save from the busing is worth the risk to our kids, our teenagers' health. If these changes do take place and are approved, then high school students would get out of school much earlier, about an hour earlier, which students I talked to don't mind. The school board will discuss these changes tomorrow during a meeting. Dr. Solomon Baker plans to be there as well. Reporting live in Tampa, Brenda Luis Gonzalez, ABC Action News.